Hey guys, what's up? My name is Leda, also known as The Real Leda, and we are sitting at week one, day three. And the reason why we're sitting out week one, day three is to be honest, weeks, um, days one and two, I wasn't exactly sure if I was going to do this or not. But with talking with my best friend and uh, my coaches, we decided why not? Why not? Let's do this. Uh, leading into the reason why I also wanted to do this is not just for myself, for something for, for me to look back on, but also when I was trying to look at a bunch of vlogs of brand new competitors trying to come into the industry and what their preps were like and what they had experienced throughout this it was difficult to find that strangely enough um, a lot of people they're either on their second competition or they're like veterans and this is like their 20th so to see brand new um, brand new people getting into the industry and watching their vlogs again was difficult to find so I want to go ahead and make this series for everyone else who is in a similar position than I am and that want to get into bodybuilding but really doesn't know what that entails um, and hopefully we'll watch this and this will this series will help them for and then also for all of you who may not be interested in competing but just want to know more on what it's like for a first time competitor then you know Maybe you can watch this and get something from it as well. So that's the reason, all the reasons why um, I've decided to go forward with this. Now, again, if you didn't catch my announcement video, you guys, I am a mom of three plus a puppy and I'm a wife. So it is busy. I also have my own business and working full time. So yes, I am a busy, busy person, but life doesn't make excuses for your goals so my goals are my goals and my family understands that's another thing that was big um with coming into all of this um coaches want to make sure i spoke with everyone in the family and the, all the boys because again i have three boys plus a husband they all know that um this is my goal this is what i want to do um and although they're going through it with me in a sense and they they see me day to day and they will go through this with me um they are not obligated to do what i'm doing so um in the sense of like going to the gym and everything so it is gonna be a whirlwind i would love to share the good the bad the indifferent um with you guys i feel like um a lot of that is missing in some vlogs so i'm gonna be open i'm gonna be vulnerable and we're gonna see how this goes so that being said, uh, if you've looked at any other prep vlogs, <laughs> you will notice that usually they have like a week countdown to when their show day is. You guys, again, I'm brand new. I don't have a show day chosen at this time. What I do have is I have the next four weeks to dial in on this new fitness plan, dial in on my nutrition, and then from there, we'll see how my body is responding and then we will choose a, a show day. So right now, again, week one, day three, we are going, whew, sun is crazy. We're gonna rock out the next four weeks with getting these workouts in, dialing on that nutrition. And then from there, we may have a show day chosen and then we'll have a show day countdown. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, uh, here's the kickoff, week one. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, today is now July 6th, Thursday, and it is active recovery day. So basically what coach wants me to do is like a 30 minute light cardio. So I did a walk on the treadmill and then some yoga or some stretching. So got that done. Now I'm home waiting on my coffee. <laughs> but I want to go ahead and address something that a lot of people have been asking me, and that is in regards to coaching. And, you know, although I am a certified personal trainer, bodybuilding and bodybuilding competitions are not my expertise. So I don't feel confident enough to coach myself through this process. That being said, I also, we know ourselves, and I know that although I am very um, critical or 
could can be very hard on myself i know when times get hard it's easy to kind of give yourself a little bit more grace than needed so all of that being said i have hired a coach um and then also let me just piggyback on that i have my own clients and i have a life outside of myself going to the gym so that there's a lot going on i have to think for my clients why not hire someone to think for me and i just go and execute i just would rather hire someone who this is their area of expertise and all i'm responsible for doing is executing so then i can get myself on stage so all of that being said my coaches who are they i have two kind of more than two and i'll explain so you have, I have my main two coaches, which is my nutrition coach. Her name is Jess and she is, um, her business is called 1% Better or OPB Nutrition. And she is fantastic. So again, someone watching over my nutrition, making sure I'm following through because we know that nutrition is like 80 to 90% of this process, right? So I've got her in my corner. I've also hired on Coach K and Coach K is a beast. You gotta love her. She is my bodybuilding expert. Expert. She also competes as well. So she not only knows it from a coach's aspect, but also the competitor's aspect. And that was very much important to me to find someone who knows it from both sides. And then so then that way they can really understand my perspective. But not only that, they are both friends of mine. So I have built relationships with these women. And so I know that, you know, they're, they have their best interests uh, or my best interests at heart. So like, I know these women, I can be vulnerable with them, which I believe that is a huge thing when you find a coach is you need someone that you can be vulnerable with. And, but I also know that they will keep me accountable and they will definitely tell you or tell me <laughs> they will definitely tell me when i'm messing up and they um come to the point where they love their clients so much that that tough love is what's ingrained in them you know so those things are very very important to me and both of these women have that so i will link all of their information below now the caveat is is that they are under an umbrella of coaches which i am so, so, so fortunate to pretty much have access to everybody on this team. And the umbrella of coaches is called Taylor Made Athletics. And Taylor Made Athletics is ran by head coach Taylor Stallings, which if you don't know her, her information will be down below. Um, that woman is also a beast. She is coaching captain of the Great Orlando Aces. Um, she has done many, many Olympic uh, lifting competitions. So she's she knows also from a coaching standpoint as well as a competitive athlete standpoint and um, just the team of athlete or the team of coaches that they have under the, underneath this umbrella is fantastic. Um, I had met uh, Taylor when I was going through CrossFit and wanted to join Grid and then with uh, life changes that have happened. Um, bodybuilding has been something that I've always wanted to do and has um, got a little bit of a nudge to do so, which we'll get into in just a moment. Got a little bit of a nudge to do so. And then I have decided that, you know, I might as well take the leap. Um, and being under this team of coaches, I knew that Kay, um, this was her area of expertise. So I reached out to her and say, hey, will you help me through this? So super, super excited. Um, again, the team of coaches that I have is unreal. Like they are fantastic. Um, so again, I'll list their information down below. If you are interested in, um, you know, nutrition or bodybuilding or, um, you know, Olympic weightlifting, or just knowing more about this team, all of their information will be down below. Um, I'll share more about them throughout this series, um, considering they're going to be huge parts of this process. So why not? <laughs> you know, I have to share them. Um, now, 
touching base on the little nudge I have, <laughs> I have received. Um, my best friend. So my best friend is one of those people where she's seen me obviously go through a lot and she's had, she, I've seen her go through a lot as well. You know, she had a baby in December and is, has worked out throughout her pregnancy and is now six months postpartum and doing fantastic. Well, we have been talking about this for a while. She decided that she was going to take the leap and in talking with her more, we now have decided to take the leap together. So I will link her channel below. Um, again, we'll be doing this together at the same time. So um, now there will be a massive difference considering I live in Florida, she lives in Massachusetts. So, <laughs> and we have completely different coaches um, and coaching staff. And right now we may may be in the same division not exactly sure we're kind of both in the same process where um there are uh you know we're looking at a couple of divisions and not too sure exactly which one we're going to be into so um keep uh keep an eye on that but yes her information will also be down below Hey guys, what's up? So today is Friday, July 7th, and this morning I did my workout, worked all day, and I had already cooked dinner for the boys and I, um, and now I'm actually over here prepping some chicken. Why? You want to see? Look. Chicken. Okay. Why? Because, so my husband Tony and I are actually going to go scalloping tomorrow with some friends. So we're gonna be out on a boat all day and I don't wanna be off of my nutrition or my macros. So what I'm deciding to do is prepping some chicken early because this is something that I don't mind eating cold while I'm out on the water, especially when it's really hot. And then I'm gonna bring some of like some healthy snacks as well. So good thing is that I love peppers. So I'm bringing these with me. Right, they're little sweet peppers. And then I'm also, I found that they make little cucumbers as well. So I'm bringing those with me. I'm gonna be bringing this with me as well, which is um, the Bolt House um, Chunky Blue Cheese. If you guys don't know about Bolt House, it is a yogurt, um, yogurt-based dressing. So it makes it a lot better on macros than a regular dressing. So this one has like 50 calories. Uh, four grams of fat, two grams of carbs, and two grams of protein for every two tablespoons. So um, when I want to taste something different, I'll just dip the vegetables in this, and then I'll probably be bringing um, a protein shake as well, and obviously all the water. So just a few things, just to kind of keep myself on track, and I am not gonna bring what I normally bring, which in the past, when we've gone out like on the boat and everything, sometimes I'll bring like goldfish or some sort of, uh, you know, chip, pretzel, something along those lines. Well, this time we're gonna say protein based because one, this will keep me fuller longer and two, it'll also keep me on my macros and my prep. So we have goals, right? We're trying to get on that stage, trying to put out the best physique I can possibly put out um, regardless whether I'm competing September, October, November, I don't know yet. Um, but we're going to do everything that we can to get there. And I will not let my nutrition go just because I'm going to be out on the boat all day. So, you guys, sometimes when you're in, what I've been learning is that there is obviously life outside of fitness, life outside of prep. And it's okay to be flexible and adjust things. So here's my flexibility. I'm bringing my food with me and I'm actively choosing to bring healthier items with me for myself. Now, Tony, he'll probably be, knowing him, he'll want his sun chips. And then also we have a big thing of just mixed fruit um, that'll be coming with us as well. And then he'll probably grab I don't know, probably 
something else. Um, he'll probably make himself a sandwich or something as well to bring. So I am blessed to say, like I have to say, I am blessed to have a husband who also, he doesn't compete or anything, but he does like to take care of himself. He does pay attention to his nutrition and he also works out. Hey guys, what's up? So today is Sunday, July 9th, and it has been the day of all things. So um, started off my day with a five mile run and then uh, just doing, you know, all the setup things throughout uh, the house, cleaning the house, um, laundry, um, you know, grocery shopping, meal prepping. And then of course, all of my planner things, which as you guys know, I'm a business owner. I work full time. I have my family. Um, and bodybuilding. So I have all of these things I need to get done. So my paper planner is the best thing for me in which I can set all of the different things that I need to do as like little appointments and get things done throughout the day. Well, today I also had an opportunity to be on a Zoom call with my uh, nutrition coach. She does these Zoom educational calls the second Sunday of every month. And we get to, as her clients, we get to choose the topic and this week's topic was protein which was fantastic she went through like just all of the different kinds the best times to use them and you know what is needed and how protein acts with um, amino acids just it's just a lot of really good information and it's great to sit there and ask questions as they pop up as well so that was just a fantastic experience and I can't wait for more to come. So again, it's the second Tuesday of every month and she does it just for her clients. So again, her information is down below. Um, but yeah, we are wrapping up week one. So that was pretty much wrapped up week one with, uh, with that call and we're gonna <laughs> start off tomorrow with week two of this bodybuilding um, journey. So um, I guess we're gonna call this journey to the stage. So you guys, thank you so much for sticking around uh, with me to go through my week with me. And I can't wait to see what else comes up. Love you guys. Stay weird and have a fantastic day. Bye.